Good morning, Blood Washed Church. This is just a brief greeting. I uh, just want to say happy Resurrection Day to you. I won't be long. The Lord is leading me away from so much um, online ministry to in-person ministry, for which I am thankful. And I will give you more information, more details as things become finalized. But I just want to give you two scriptures today. John chapter 5 verse 21, which says, For just as the Father raised the, raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son gives life to whom he is pleased to give it. And to give life means that to bring that which was dead back to life. That's the life the Father has given you and I through Jesus. So if you're feeling dead, hopeless, no way out, you're feeling like you're at an end, if you're saved, that spirit that's in Jesus, that spirit that raised him to life, that spirit is working in you. I want to give you Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14. It says, for this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. So what is that spirit of might? It's the ability to do anything God has called you to do. It's the miraculous power of Almighty God that's operating in you. And, and you saw that spirit operating in different people. If you watch that a favor, that conference, the a business and leadership conference, and I hope that you watched it. I hope that you didn't let that fall by the wayside. You saw people operating in that spirit of my doing great things, not in and of themselves, but that spirit of might. If you yield to the power of God that's working in you, you'll, you'll conquer a troop, leap over a wall. And I want to leave you with this. God has promised to make his church a royal diadem. Are you part of his church? That he's put a crown of victory on your head. He has promised to bless you, not curse you. He has promised he will honor your commitment to his word. Step into your inheritance. He wants to restore the dead places, the lifeless places in your life. Now, God bless you. And again, I will give you more information as to where I will be speaking and when I will be speaking and those types of things, I will give that information to you uh, as it becomes finalized. And God bless you and I love you and have a wonderful Resurrection Day. Bye-bye.